if he's worthy, if he's worthy, if he's worthy, somebody cry hallelujah, hallelujah. I know God is worth more than that, hallelujah. I know God has done more than that, cry hallelujah, cry hallelujah, cry hallelujah, cry hallelujah, because God is good all the time and all the time. My God is good from the rising of the sun till the going down of the same. My God is still good from the rising of the sun till the going down of that same sun. My God is still good. My God is still great. My God is still worthy. He still has power in his hands. He still has power in his hands. He still has power. So give God a shout of praise in this room. Cry hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. Oh, 
just the congregation. Shout, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 That's the name that heals, Jesus. That's the name that can set you free, Jesus. One more time, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. personal time with Jesus, what you need, the burdens that you came in here carrying, the burdens that you came in here carrying, leave it at the altar, cast your cares upon the Lord, he wants you to bring it to him in prayer, leave your burdens, leave everything that you were worrying about this week, everything that's heavy laden on you, let it go and give it to Jesus, this is your time to pray, this is your time, you can be silent, you can be loud, you can kneel, you can sing, but pray and cry out to Jesus because he wants to hear you. This is your time to pray.
our Father. Open up your mouth and tell him, Lord God. Tell him, Lord Jesus. Tell him what you want to speak to him today. Open up your mouth and begin to pray in this moment. Whatever it is that you need.
praying words that mean so much to each and every one of us. You are literally asking God to manifest himself. In other words, you're asking God to show up. I don't know about you, but I need God to show up. I don't know what you're going through, but you may need God right now to do what? Show up. So when you say Yahweh Sir Manifest around, you're saying, God, I'm trusting that you will manifest yourself because everybody in this world needs somebody to show up for them. I can remember a time when I was young and I wanted to play hoops and I invited my dad to come to the game, but he's so busy, I didn't know if he would show up. And I was nervous through the first half. But when my father showed up, it gave me a boost of confidence. We all need that friend that when you're in trouble, you have those friends you call and they're going to ask you 20 questions. What's going on? Why did you do this? Where? And then you all have that friend. When you call them, they don't ask no questions. They just say, let me know and I'm going to pull up. I'm going to show up. And we serve a God that is better than a father, that is better than a friend, that when you're in a time of need, if you call him, he'll do what? He'll show up for you. But the prerequisite for God showing up is a setup. I came to tell you before we leave that God has to set you up for an order for him to show up. In John 11, Lazarus died. Lazarus died or was getting ready to die. And they called Jesus and they said, Jesus, your friend that you love, Lazarus, he's dying. And the Bible tells us in verse 5 and 6, it says that Jesus heard it, loved Lazarus, and stayed back. But Jesus stayed back in order to reveal himself and let Lazarus die in order to reveal himself as the resurrection and the life. That in order to reveal himself, he had to allow Lazarus to go through that problem. He had to allow Mary to cry those tears. He had to allow you to go through what you get through so he can show to Lazarus, to Mary, to everybody watching that I have power over death. And so when you call those names, Yahweh, Rapha, Elohim, Shaddai, Jara, Adonai, you're saying, God, you are the I am. Rapha, you are my healer. Elohim, you are God of gods. Shaddai, you are the one almighty. Jairo, you are my provider. Adonai, you are my Lord. But in order for him to do that, he's going to set you up. And so stop looking at your problems as problems. And start looking at your situations as a setup. Okay, I'm going through this. But it's for my good. Because all things, what? Work together for the good to them that love God. All things are working to the good. And God is getting ready to set some of you guys up. And some of you guys are already in the midst of a setup. And I would say stop looking at your problem and start looking at God. God, what are you trying to show me in this problem? If it's a money problem, you're my provider. If it's a sickness, you're my healer. But not only does God set you up so he can show up, sometimes God will set you up so you can show up. Because sometimes you don't know what you got. Sometimes you don't know what you can do. Not one person here, or most people I should say, 
How did you learn how to ride a bike? Somebody had to set you up. You started on the training wheels. You took the training wheels off, if you even did that way. And the person holding you, whether a father or a friend or whomever, they would act like they're holding you. They would act like they're holding you. So you could think that you're being secure. And you riding your bike and you look back just to realize they had let go a long time ago. So in order for you to learn how to ride a bike, in order for you to go further than you ever thought you can do, in order for you to grow new spiritual muscles, in order for you to discover who you are in God, in order for you to discover your gifts, in order, in order for you to discover your talents, in order for you to discover your full capacity, sometimes God will set you up. And that's all a giant is. A giant is a setup for a David. David knew he can kill a lion and a tiger. But God had to set up a giant so David can show up. That problem you're facing, either two things are happening. Either God is stirring up your face so you can see, let him show up for you. Or maybe that problem in your life is so you can show up. So a new spiritual muscle can develop. I came here to tell you, stop complaining and start expecting. Stop complaining and start expecting. I'm going through this, but God, I'm expecting you to show up or I'm expecting me to grow. One or two things are going to happen. And I'm not going to let my tears my frustrations, my setbacks, my breakups, because your tears are just a setup. Your frustration is just a setup. They left you, they broke up with you, that's also just a setup. You may have even lost your job. Guess what? In God's world, that's a setup. Whatever you're going through right now, we are singing that song one more time, and I want you to realize that God is speaking to your life, and that everything in you, everything that's happening, is either for him to show up or for you to show up. And that's the only options I'm going to accept tonight. I'm going to stop complaining, and I'm going to start expecting. Can we sing that song one more time and sing that with a new energy, a new heart, and recognize that God is going to reveal himself as Yahweh in my life. God is going to reveal himself as Rafa. Let's stand up to our feet. Let's stand up to our feet one more time and let's sing this song together. Lord God, that you are a deliverer. You show up on the scene 
and whatever is needed you will bring and right now lord god in this room are different needs in this room are different needs i'm asking you holy father to meet us in our time of need to meet us exactly where we're needed, Lord God. For those who need clarity, to bring clarity. For those who need deliverance, Lord God, bring deliverance, Lord God. For those who need healing, bring healing. For those who need comfort, bring comfort. For those who need a savior, save, Lord God. For those who need to be reminded that you are the way, the truth, and the life, reveal yourself, Lord God. For those who are hungry, I pray right now that you may reveal yourself as the bread. For those who need an entrance, I pray that you may receive yourself as the door. Reveal yourself as the door. There's some people here that are blocked, but you are the door. And I'm asking, Holy Father, that you may open the door that no man can shut, and that you may shut doors that no man can open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, I'm praying that you may penetrate with the sword of your spirit, Lord God. Here is a generation, Lord God, that needs you, Lord God. Show up for us, Holy Father. Show up for us, Dad. Show Show up for me, Holy Father. Show up for me, Jesus. Show up. Show up. Show up. Show up to me, Lord God. Show up, Lord God. Show up, Lord God. My bank account is low. Show up for me, Lord God. I have no direction. Show up for me, Lord God. I'm being bullied. Show up for me, Lord God. I don't know what to do. Show up for me, Lord God. I'm crying every night, but show up for me, Lord God. They let me go, but show up for me, Lord God. Show up for me, Lord God. Show up for me, Lord God. God. Show up for me, Lord God. Show up for them, Lord God. Show up for us, Lord God. Manifest yourself. We know you are on your throne, but manifest yourself in this generation. Manifest yourself in this time, Holy Father. Manifest yourself on these Wednesday nights. Manifest yourself, Lord God. Let us come, but let us not leave the way we came. Yahweh, hear the hearts in this room. 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 Oh, Lord God, we are switching our mindset. It's a setup. Lord God, it's a setup. My problem is a setup. My situation is a setup. It's a setup. It's a setup. It's a setup. I won't be discouraged. I can't be discouraged. I can't give up because it's a setup. You can't give up because it's a setup. You can't give up because it's a setup. Don't give up. Don't give up. Let this fall on good ground. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm speaking to you. Don't give up. Don't let go of that rope. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go of your faith. It's dwindling down. But your situation is a setup for his glory. Your problem is a setup. Your problem is a setup. Or maybe you need to show up. Either way, it's a setup. Receive that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, have mercy. Nous sentim feb, nous pas Oh, qui laisse fado. Oh, Papa, I can't carry this on my own right now, Lord God. I'm asking to come alongside of me. Let the angel of the Lord manifest himself, just like you did for Hagar. And she declared, oh, you are the God who sees. You are El Roy. You are El Roy. You are the God who sees. You are the God who sees. Let me experience the God who sees, who manifests himself. You showed up, Lord God, to Hagar by the springs of water. Holy Father. Show up for us. Show up, Lord God. Show up. Show up, please. If you don't show up, we have no other hope. Father, if you don't get me out of this, I have no other hope. I will not turn to other idols. I won't turn to my own ways. But Father, it's either you or nothing. Father, I'm confessing I need you more than ever. I'm repenting of any timidity. Some of us need to repent from timidity. You just need to show up. You're letting fear block you. You're letting fear hold you hostage. But I dare you to come out this season of your prison of fear. Of fear. Who gave you fear? The Lord did not give you a spirit of fear. That does not come from God. You have fear and you do it anyways. You see that giant and you do it 
anyways. You feel that anxiety and you do it anyways. And you use the words of David. You said, you come at me with sticks. You come at me with a javelin. But situation, but problem, but mountain, I come at you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of you guys need to put your faith in Jesus and not in your own strength. Who is fear? Who are you, great mountain, that you should not be moved? Command that mountain. This season, something has to change. God is going to show up or I'm going to grow up. God is going to show up or I'm going to grow up. God is going to show up or I'm going to grow up. Let the Spirit minister to you for the next couple minutes before we close. Be sensitive to God's voice in this moment. Be sensitive to God's voice even as you go home, as you go to sleep, as you wake up. Your prayers have effect. God registers them. Your prayers activate the hand of God. He sees, but we're asking God to manifest. So take one more minute, take one more minute. And pray, pray your heart, pray your heart, pray your heart. I don't know what you're going through, but God will show up so you can grow up. Ask God to give you the wings of the eagle to grow. Ask God to give you the wings of the eagle to fly. Some of you need to start soaring. May you start soaring. As we close, I want to share this revelation somebody gave to me yesterday and just to show you that heaven is taking note of what's happening. This person said to me yesterday, they saw in a dream that all the elders and the older generation had church and it was normal. And then they were walking in the hallway and they saw a cross to the other fellowship hall or either the sanctuary, I can't remember which one. And they saw the fellowship or this, the room full of youth and young adult dressed in white, worshiping. And there was no space. And so I want to let you know that heaven has taken notice of this generation. And just like in Revelation 7, when there was an army in front of God's throne dressed in white. Your anointing is not based on your age. It's based on your availability. Be dressed in white. Be encouraged. Be plugged into God's family. And look to your problems and situations with a fresh eye. Let's give God a round of applause and a cry of glory. Shout hallelujah. Say hallelujah. If you believe God's going to show up for you, say hallelujah. If you believe God's going to show up for you, cry hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Son of David. Have mercy on me. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Give God a round of applause. Yes. So this wraps up our worship night.